guys, it's Mara. Um, in today's video, I want to teach you um, the proper order of draw for blood tubes and, well, blood culture bottles, and kind of an easy way to help you remember what the order is. So, first of all, I have this little um, green card set that is a quick little reference guide. Um, I guess you can buy these through like lab supply companies but they kind of tell you um, obviously the order of draw. It also tells you how many um, times of inversion you should um, invert the tube after you've collected it um, and volume guide for different types of coagulation tubes. So those would be like the light blue tubes or the blue tubes um, and just a little bit about collection and things like that. So um, first, I want to go over what is the exact proper of draw. So, this is just kind of the quick rundown, doesn't have every tube, but has the majority of tubes that you would collect. So, if you look at this little, little guy here, so first we have is blood um, culture tubes. So that's your bottles of uh, blood you're going to put in the bottles. Um, so, your blood culture bottles. They have, there's a smaller uh, pediatric tube, and then there's also the larger normal adult size. Um, and for the pediatric tubes, that's obviously for children or for someone that you can't get much blood on. Now, for the pediatric tubes, the minimum requirement is 5 milliliters, um, and then in the larger blood culture bottles is 10 mils. Now, if you can't get... Um, a full five milliliters of blood, then you are supposed to just put the amount that you can get into the aerobic or the purple uh, blood culture bottle. So, okay, so first we have blood cultures, then we have uh, the blue top tubes or the light blue, um, the citrated tubes, the coagulation tubes. Um, and that's for tests like. Uh, any kind of coag study, PT, INR, D-dimer, fibrinogen, tests like that. Um, that's going to test your clot. So we have blood cultures, then we have our light blue, um, and then we have our serum tubes, which are the red and the gold. Um, and then I guess some locations have like the tiger striped ones, which is kind of like red and red and gold striped on the lid. Um, so then we have our serum tubes, then we have our heparin tubes, which are green tubes. Um, that's most of your chemistry tests. And um, then we have our EDTA, which is the pink and the purple. So uh, the normal EDTA, the short purple or tall purple, whichever, um, however your location collects, um, is normally for like platelets, um, CBC, different some different um, drug testing like tacrolimus um, and that's like for what's that kidney transplant I think it's that kind of drug that you get once you have a kidney transplant um, and then the pink tubes the tall pink tubes those are for your cross matches so they're both EDTA tubes but one is specifically for uh, blood banking and then after that we have your glycolytic inhibitors, um, that's obviously to stop glycolysis, and that would be your um, lactate tubes, your lactic acid tubes, and that's mostly what we use them for. You can also use them for glucose and ethanol, but um, ours we just use them for a lactic acid. So um, that's really the rundown of most of the tubes. Now you could have like a royal blue tube, and um, that goes in before the gray top tube, so second to last pretty much, um, but that's just usually for a lead test and that's not a super common test. Okay, so to remember our uh, order of draw, I came up with kind of a story. At first it was funny um, and I was going to have uh, some friends act it out, but it would be too cringy. So instead, um, I kind of switched it around and maybe, hopefully, it's a way that can help you um, memorize the order of draw. So, just a quick overview again. So we have blood culture bottles, 
uh, blue top tubes. We have our serum tubes, which are gold and red. We have our green top. We have our purple and pink, and then we have our gray. So the story um, is some friends wanted to go out and get a few bottles, drink alcohol, of uh, Pat's Blue Ribbon. So if you don't know, that's like the hipster beer, okay? So first we have bottles, and then we have uh, Pat's, I can't say that word, Pat's Blue Ribbon, so blue. Think of a blue top tube, our coag tube. Um, so they drank a bunch of alcohol, and they got really dehydrated. And then they had amber pee. So when you get really dehydrated, um, your urine's not going to be a clear color. So amber for red and yellow, kind of like red and yellow together is kind of an amber orangey color. So red and yellow, um, the serum tubes, and then pee, I, I mean it as urine, but pee can be like green peas, so P-E-A instead of P-E-E. -E. Um, and then we have our green top tubes. So. Uh, some friends went out for a bunch of bottles of Pat's Blue Ribbon, the hipster beer. Um, they had Amber P, and um, then they got into a fight. So they started fighting, and there were some punches thrown, and they got some bruises. So what color are bruises? They're purple. Okay, so these friends they got into a fight. Um, they have all these bruises. Now you think if you have a lot of bruising, you have a lot of bleeding, then you may need a cross match. So that's the pink top too, okay? So um, they have, they got a fight, they got bruises, so think purple bruises, then they'd need a cross match, so then you have your pink top too. Um, and then say they lost a lot of blood. Um, and now they're very pale, they look very sick, and they're gray. So, you know, you can think of gray like lack of blood. Um, not everybody's going to be gray, I guess. Some people could be kind of like white. <laughs> well, there's not really a white top tube that I know of, so gray. So, basically, to go over it again, um, they went out for bottles of Pat's Blue Ribbon. Actually, I don't even know if there are bottles. I think normally there are cans, but we're going to go with bottles to make it work. Uh, but bottles of Pat's Blue Ribbon. They had Amber P. Um, and then they got into a fight because um, they were really drunk. And they um, started hitting each other. They got purple bruises. And then they were so bruised and so beat up that they were bleeding and they had to get a cross match so there's your pink tube and then they lost so much blood that they were a gray color so i know this is kind of cringy anyway but um i hope you guys liked my little order of draw story um i hope it helps you remember um if you need to draw uh if you're a nurse or phlebotomy or even in uh, med tech school um, there's a lot of different people that draw blood and could use, hopefully, can use this to help them remember. Um, also, like I said, these little cards are pretty quick, a pretty great go-to guide. Um, like, I'm not exactly sure where they go, uh, where, where they're bought from. Um, oh, and here there actually is a white top tube. That's funny. A pediatric draw. See? I've not seen a white top tube. That's potassium EDTA. So, anyway, um, oh, and to go over just a couple few inversions, um, blue top tubes, they have four, and then the rest of them are pretty much five to ten. Um, lavender, it says eight to ten. Um, any one of them that have, you know, anticoagulant in there, you want to make sure you invert well. Um, the blue one, you don't want to over invert, I guess, you know, it could more than four times, um, that'll get a good uh, mix of the anticoagulant and not. But with the purples, you know, you are looking a lot of times. You don't want the you don't want the tube to clot um, or the platelets to clot, um, and so you want to have a really good inversion on that one. Where the other ones are, you know, about five to ten times. So, like that's one, two, three, four, five. 
So, thank you guys for watching. If you want to, check out some of my other um, YouTube videos on uh, blood tubes or drawing blood or anything like that. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.